Okay. Um, today what we want to do is coding and decoding. Right? You've heard of the word coding, decoding definitely before. Uh, before we talk about all the different types of coding, decoding questions, we will discuss more in detail about what exactly is coding and decoding and where do we use this in our day to day world. Uh, we will be basically doing five different types of questions which are letter coding, number coding, substitution and mixed, and mixed letter, mixed number coding. Now, letter coding is essentially using jumbled words, sorry, using jumbled letters as codes for the information that you want to send. Number coding as it's mentioned is essentially just converting the information you want to send into numbers and vice versa. Substitution I'll have to explain slightly more once we have an example with us. And mixed letter coding and mixed number coding again when we go to it we'll understand through an example. Okay, so let's quickly discuss what exactly is coding and decoding. Okay, so all of us have watched war movies and army movies. Yes, what have you noticed over there? Do people sitting at army bases just talk normally? If they have to send sensitive information, what do they do? Do they send WhatsApp messages to each other? No, they don't. Do they call each other and just talk normally? No, they don't. What do they do? Have you heard them use the words like Alpha, Tango, Charlie, Charlie, right? Now what is all of this? What are they trying to do? Aren't they essentially trying to send information without someone in between tapping into that information? Yes? Haven't you also done this? Where have you done this? Think about it. You've given exams before? Yes? And I'm very confident that there have been some exams which have had multiple choice questions. You've definitely either copied or you've seen some of your friends copy. How do you copy? Right? Have you never done this? A, B, C, D. Yes? What are you essentially doing? Right? You are asking your friend for the answer and your friend is telling you, Acha, uh, the answer for uh, 2 is B. Right? Now, he could just scream out into the classroom and say, uh, Rajesh, the answer is 2B. But what would happen then? The teacher would find out and then he would be thrown out of the class. Now, you don't want that to happen. You don't want the teacher to know what information you are sending. So, what are you essentially doing? The information is the answer to the question. You are converting it into a code. Right? So, the same thing is what we want to do over here. Right? So you have a transmitting end, right, where you have information which you want to send. Now you, this is sensitive information, right, you do not want everyone around you to know what this information is. So what do you do? You convert this to a coded message, right. At the receiving end, you are transmitting this coded message, right? So even if, say, in the example which you took, if the teacher catches you doing this, you could just say I'm scratching my nose. I am not sending any answer to my friend, right? So the coded message is received by your friend sent by your friend is received by you and what do you do because you understand what that means you can convert that back to the information which is this information which you want to send right now what is this process called this process which you're converting information to a coded message is called coding right you may have also called as encoding right and this process we have converted the coded message back to information is called decoding. Right? Okay? You use, we use coding and decoding every day. Right? Have you used text messages and WhatsApp messages? Right? 
you heard of the word encryption what is encryption if not coding and decoding your message is being encrypted it is essentially then being coded so that nobody in the transmitting transmitting channel can read it and over here the message you are sending to your friend is decrypted which is what decoded okay now that we understood what exactly the process is let's try to understand how do we actually go about coding and decoding so we will start off with the first part of coding all right so assume this is the information that you want to send right and you are converting this information to this coded message right please look at this carefully look at every letter and the letter below it right can you tell me what is the pattern which is being followed over here did you notice that if you look at this carefully b is getting converted to c o is converted to p o again is converted to p k is converted to l s is converted to t right essentially what is happening is this letter is getting converted to the next letter o is converted to the next letter p o again t j k l t q r s t right so if i have to say convert the information clean what would i do it would be c would become b l would become f e would become f a would become b n would become o yes this would be the information this would be the coded message right now this is extremely simple you could see the pattern directly by looking at the letters right now what i want you to do is i want you to look at that over there the information given to you is water water is coded as t c q g o i want to know how do i code the word food right let's ignore this part first let's try to understand what is the pattern over here can you figure out the pattern just by looking at the letters see over here it is more difficult than what we did before yes that's why i'm giving this question right so what we do over here and for any coding decoding question for that matter is any time you see letters we convert them to numbers now what do i mean by converting them to numbers how can we convert letters to numbers we can convert letters to numbers by just numbering them i can number a as 1 b is 2 a is 1 b is 2 c is 3 d is 4 yes right now if i have the numeric value of all these letters and the numeric value of all these letters i can definitely find a pattern between them right okay let's try to find out the numeric value of w what is the numeric value of w how will you go about finding it right A is one, B is two, C is three, D is four, E is five, F is six, G is seven. Right? Are you noticing how much time will take us for us to reach W? Right? There has to be a faster way of doing it. Right? So there is a faster way to do it. That is, B. What is this? What is this random word you are going for? E J O T is something you need to remember. E J O T is nothing but five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. 
right? Now, if you want to find the position of any letter, you will not start from A. You will start from the closest letter over here, right? So, for example, I need to find out the value of W, right? The closest here, say, is T. I know E J O T. E J O T. T is 20. T U V W. U is 21. V is 22. W is 23. So I write the value of W as 23. Right? What is the value of A? 1. What is the value of T? E J O T. E J O T Y. So T is what? 20. T is 5. R. How will I find, find R? Right? Again, E, J, O, T, Y, I can go from O. O is 15. Right? O, P, Q, R. 16, 17, 18. Right? Okay. Similarly, I need to find the numeric values of the coded message. T again we know is 20. C is 3. What is Q? Again, E J O T O is 15, P is 16, Q is 17, G is what? E F G 7, R O again is what? E J O T which is 15. Now what I want you to do is to forget about the letters. Just look at the numbers, observe the numbers. 23 has become 20. 1 has become 3. So 23 minus 3 is 20. 1 plus 2 is 3. 20 minus 3 is 17. 5 plus 2 is 7. 80 minus 3 is 15. Can you see a pattern forming over here now? Yes? Did you notice how when we converted it to numbers, we could easily find the pattern? But when you are looking at only letters, it is extremely confusing. Right? Now tell me one thing. If you are sending a message across, right, sensitive information, will you send only one word or one sentence? Or do you send multiple words in multiple sentences? Right? You would send multiple words in multiple sentences, right? So that's why, and you will use the same coded language, right? Imagine in the exam you are cheating from. You want, you would want only one answer, right? You would like more than one answer, and the code which you are using has to be the same for all. You cannot have different codes for different questions, right? If you don't understand the code, then how will you find the information which is being sent? Right? So that is what we are going to do over here. Now you coded this word water into this. Now I want to send more information. But using the same code. How will I go about doing that? Right? So first again I will convert the letters to numeric values. Right? What is the value of F? E J O T again. E is 5. F is 6. O is what? 15, 15, D is 4, right? What is the pattern that is followed? Minus 3 plus 2, minus 3 plus 2, right? Now put the numeric values again. 6 minus 3 is 3, 15 plus 2 is 17, 15 minus 3 is 12, 14 plus 2 is 6. What is the value of 3? It is C. What is the value of 17? O is 15. P, Q. What is the value of 12? 10 is what? J. J, K, L. What is the value of 6? F. Right? So the information in the same code will be coded as C Q L F. Right? Did you understand what we just did? Right? 
the more you practice. So when you are doing the first few questions of coding and decoding, it's okay if you have the entire number and letters together. But as you practice more, you should start moving on to this. Right? Because you do not have the time to write down all of this every time. Okay? I hope you understood how we go about doing this. Right? If you understood this, I am sure you can do the solved example 1 and 2 on page 2 and also questions 1, 2, 15 from our exercise on page 4 and 5. So, we looked at one way in which we can convert letters to numbers, right? We put A as 1, B as 2, C as 3, D as 4 and so on. One thing to remember is that this essentially is cyclical, right? So, for example, if I say what is the value of, say in our coding, decoding, we get a value of 28. Now we have only 26 letters. What is 28? Right? Please understand that 28 is essentially 26 is this is said. It starts again. So A will be 27. So A is 27, B will be 28. So the letter which is representing 28 is nothing but B. Okay? Now another thing which we need to notice is that I could also just very easily number the letters like this Z is 1, Y is 2, X is 3 Right? And you have what? 26, 25, 24, 23, 22 Right? I call this the forward order And this the reverse order I want you to Look at the forward order value and the reverse order value and tell me if you find any relationship between them. See over here, right? Did you notice that 1 plus 26 is what? 27. 2 plus 25 is again 27. 3 plus 24 is 27. Four plus twenty-three, twenty-seven. Five plus twenty-two, twenty-seven. Here also everything is equal to twenty-seven, right? So when you're doing coding, decoding, twenty-seven is a very special number, right? There may be some questions which may be coded in the reverse order. Now again, you don't need to remember the values of the reverse order. All you need to remember is the forward order values plus reverse order values. As 27. Right? So for example, I want to find the value of Q in the reverse order. I will find it in the forward order first. Again, using E J O P. E J O, O is 15, O is 15, P is 16, Q is 17. Right? So forward order value is 17 plus reverse order should equal to 27. So in the reverse order, the value of Q is 10. Alright? Yes? Okay. Another thing I want you all to keep in mind is that, again, what we are learning right now is reasoning. Right? Unlike Max, this is what I am explaining to you, a general concept. It is not a standard formula which can be applied to every question that you are doing. Right? I hope you understood the logic which I explained in the first part, right? The logic is that the information has to be converted to a code. Now look, conversion into a code, a majority of times uses this process. But you can use some other process also. You can have letters which are moved around, letters are jumbled, the first letter becoming the last letter, the second letter becoming the second last letter, just movement of letters happening. Reverse order, forward order, right? So please don't have only a focus view of just doing this. Of course, you need to do this at least 90% of the time. You need to first check if it follows this process, but you also need to keep an open mind while you're solving it. Okay?
Now, if you want to specifically try a question which does not use this, you can do question number 26 on page 6. Right? Okay. So, let's look at the first solved example on page 9. Right? Now, all that we discussed has always been on the transmitting side. Right? Where you are coding the information and sending it across. Right? If you want to code more words and send it across, how will you code that? Right? Now let's move on to the receiving side. If you receive a coded message, how do you convert it back to the information that you want? Right? So in the first example, it states that Carol has been coded as PZQQFL. Right? Now they want to know which word will be coded as house. Now they want to know the information which will be coded as house. Please be careful by the wording. It does not say how will house be coded. It says which word will be coded as house. Right? So the coded word is house. So let's look at the pattern over here. Right? You have C is equal to 3, A is 1, O, P, Q, 17, 17, 15, L, and J, K, J is 10, K is 11, L is 12, M is 13. Right? You have 2, 26, 16, 16, 14, and 12. Right? What is happening over here? The 3 minus 1, 1 minus 1. I mentioned again how it is cyclical. 17 minus 1, 17 minus 1, 15 minus 1. Right? So going from the information to the quoted word is minus 1 all throughout. Right? How will we go from the code to the information? Right? Let's find out over here. So you have H, which is what? E is 5, F, G, H, so H is 8, O is 15, U, E, J, O, T, E, J, O, T, 20, E, U is 21, S is 19, E is again 5. Now because going from information to the code was minus 1, going from the code to the information we want Plus 1, yes or no? So you have plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, right? So 8 becomes 9, 15 becomes 16, 21 becomes 22, 19 becomes 20, 5 becomes 6. So I, P, B, T, and F, right? Notice how if we go from the information to the code, you will subtract 1. Right? This process which you are doing is converting code to information is nothing but decoding. Okay? Please you can do now the solved example 2 on page 9 again. And you can do questions 1 to 10 on page 10. Okay? Okay. Let's move on to the next part which is number coding. Now number coding is not that different from what we've already done before. Right? So let's just quickly look at the type of question in number coding. Right? We have example 3 on page 13 which states that D is equal to 4. Okay? And the word cover is equal to 63. Now, they want to know what will be the value of bases, right? Now again, what did I tell you in the starting was, every time you see capital letters, you should convert them to numeric values, right? Also the process in which you should convert them has been given to you here, right? This is essentially forward order, right? Let's look over here. Let's see how can we get 63 from cover. If we take numeric values, you get C is equal to 3, O is equal to 15, V is equal to 20 is T, 
21 is you, 22 is me, E is 5, R is 17, E J O, O is 15, P Q, yes, right? Let's add this. What do we get? 3 plus 17 is 20, 20 plus 20 is 40, 40 plus 22 is 62, right? Yes, O, P, sorry, this is 18, right? So we have 3 plus 15 is 18, 18 plus 22 is 40, 40 plus 5 is 45, 45 plus 18 is 63. So essentially what we are getting is that this number is the sum of the numeric values of every letter. So can we find out the numeric value here? Of course we can. Right? B is equal to what? 2. A is 1. Right? X is what? 19. This T is 20. I is? You have E is 5. F, G, H, I. Right? So it is what? 9 E F E J O D E F I G H I J I 9 S again is 90 Right? So you have what? 22 1 plus 19 is 20 20 plus 2 is 22 22 plus 9 is 31 31 plus 19 is 50 So your answer is 50 Right? Again, the concept was the same. You converted the letters to numeric values, right? Please try the exercise on page 13. You can do all the questions in it very easily, right? It uses the same concept. Let's look at the next type of question, which is substitution. You can go to page 26 for that. Um, please look at the first sort example on page 26 okay now let's read the question together we have it states that if a cook is called a butler a butler is called a manager a manager is called a teacher a teacher is called a clerk and a clerk is called a principal who will teach in a class right now who teaches in a class the teacher, right? Now, what is the teacher called? The teacher is called a clerk. So, your answer would simply be a clerk, right? Now, where do people make a lot of mistakes over here is the over analyze, right? You could very easily think, okay, a teacher is called a clerk, but the clerk is called the principal. So, shouldn't the answer be the principal? Right? No. That is not how we go about it. You just look at the relationship of the person given to you. Who will teach in a class? The teacher teaches in a class, and the teacher is called a clerk. Let me stop over there. Third question, third example also. It states that if eye is called hand, and hand is called mouth, mouth is called ear, and ear is called nose. And lastly, the nose is called tongue. Which of the following would a person, with which of the following would a person hear? What do you use to hear? You use a ear, right? And what is a ear called? The ear is called nose. So the answer would be nose, right? Okay, now this is extremely simple. Start doing the exercise which is on page 27 and 28. Please realize you don't have to overcomplicate this. Just simply look at what they've asked you and what that word is directly related to. Right? Don't get into the loops. If you overanalyze these questions, you will honestly get them wrong. The simplest answer is the answer over here. Okay? So let's look at the first solid example on page 30 is under mixed letter coding. Okay. It states that NSOPTRKIL 
I C H N stands for Sharma Gets Marriage Gift. P T R L M N W O P C H N stands for Wife Gives Marriage Gift. P T I W O P N H I stands for He Gives Nothing. So, what word the word gives stand for? Right? Okay. Now before we get scared of this unknown language that we mentioned over here, uh, let's quickly understand what we are doing over here. Right? Essentially we need to find out, essentially this is a foreign language, right? And this is the English translation of that language. I hope you understand that just because this is the first word and this is the first word over here, that does not mean NSO stands for Sharma. Similarly, PTR does not stand for gets. Right? How do we find out what word over here stands for what word over there? Is by comparing the two sentences. So we have sentence 1, 2 and 3. Right? Let's compare sentence 1 and 2. Let's go over here. Right? What words are common between 1 and 2? On the right hand side. You have marriage and gift, marriage and gift, yes or no? And what two are common over here? You have CHN, CHN, PPR, right? So you know for a fact that PTR and CHN stand for marriage gift. Now again, you can't definitely say that CHN stands for marriage or CHN stands for gift. All PTR definitely stands for marriage, no. Right? You don't know which stands for which, but you know definitely these two stand for marriage and gift. Right? That's what you got from comparing one and two. Okay? Now let's compare two and three. Right? Two and three, what is common? The word gives is common. Right? Also let you know PTR is already being done, you can cancel it out. You know gives is common. What is common over here? W O P. So you know for a fact W O P is gives. Right? You can cancel that out. Right? Now, if I have to ask you, what does wife stand for? Let's look over here. Only word left here is wife. Only thing left here is LMN. So LMN would stand for wife. Right? Now again, TTI, LHI, you can't say which stands for what. Over here also, NSO and KLI, you don't know which stands for what. We can compare 1 and 3 also. But there is nothing common between 1 and 3. Right? Okay? So I know the question ends over here, but I wanted you to look over here so that you get extra understanding as to how do we go about this. This is simply like simultaneous equations which you done in maths. Right? Now, the process for all of them is the same. You write them down, make sure you do not make the mistake of saying that the first letter is here, the first letter is here. Second letter here stands for the second letter there. No. You need to compare sentences. Compare 1 and 2, 2 and 3, and then 1 and 3. Right? And then cancel out the ones which you know for a fact are proper translations. Right? Once you've done this, please try solve example 2 on page 30 and start solving the exercise. You can easily do the first 15 questions of the exercise on page 31 and 32. Okay? Right? Okay. So very similar to what we previously did in mixed letter coding, we have mixed number coding. So if you look at the first solved example on page 37, we have in a certain code 786 means study very hard, 958 means hard work pays and 645 means study and work. 
you need to find out what does the word very mean in the same code. Right? Now please understand it is not 786 is equal to study very hard. It is essentially 786 is equal to study very hard. Right? Now this if you look at is very similar to our mixed letter coding. Right? So the mixed letter coding what did we do? Right? We compared sentence 1 and sentence 2 first and then sentence 2 and 3 and then 1 and 3. So let's compare 1 and 2 first. What do we have? Common over here. Hard and hard are common. Right? What is common over here? 8. So you know for a fact hard is equal to 8. Yes? Right? Let's compare 2 and 3. What is common between 2 and 3? Word is common between 2 and 3. What is common over here? 5. So you know work is equal to 5. Right? What else is left? Let's compare 1 and 3. What is common between 1 and 3? You have 6 over here which is common. And the word study is common. So you know study is equal to 6. Yes or no? Right? Now what is left? 9. K is equal to 9. And is equal to 4. And very, which is what we have to find, is equal to 7. Right? The process is exactly the same. Only small complication is this. You will see it as 786 is golden and study very hard. 958 is cold and hard work based. So this is not 958 to take as individual numbers. 786958. Right? And you will be able to easily do it. You can solve the second solved example on page 37. And then do actually all the questions of the exercise on page 38 and 39.